just want to give a quick update about the Pajero. So, sometime ago I made a post last year. I need money for 4x4 and all this stuff. And uh, yeah, things didn't go as planned. So, obviously, I have my 4x4 now, as you can see. And I paid it with the donations. But uh, what happened with the Pajero? So, the Pajero has been bought by uh, a British mechanic. We, he fundraised for it, for a car for us, for me. Because at that time we only had the T4. Until the T4 broke. And uh, he was supposed to fundraise some money, but he was willing to do it. He want to fundraise for the car and then we decided I will put some money into it too <clears throat> and then we don't need to get some uh, car from Britain we can get like a good much better car from Germany and also has a steering wheel on the right side which is very helpful in some situations My friend Daniel can confirm that. And what actually happened was that I uh, had some mental problems. I had a burnout. I'm still uh, recovering from it. My PTSD got really bad at that time. And I need to take like a proper break from everything, like proper isolate myself in a village in Chernihiv Oblast where I live with a family of a friend <clears throat> and we didn't have much communication <clears throat> and there was also not much communication from his side so he just bought some random S car and at some point he just messaged me like I'm gonna be there tomorrow and I was like in shock so it turns out he bought a Pajero you all know the car from my Instagram and this car has been imported to the UK from Japan it has no VIN number no vehicle identification number and it's super difficult to get the correct spare parts for it. So on the second or third mission or something, we broke something. I had to replace it and it took like a week to find the correct spare part, which apparently wasn't correct, but we made it fit anyways. So we all had like a quick look underneath when it was there and it looked okay. But just a quick look. And one of my team members was like, oh, I've never seen such an old car in such good condition underneath. But, uh, yeah, reality was, if I find some pictures, I will uh, put it in. The reality was that uh, the frame was completely rusted through. It was not just a rust hole, but the entire frame was like, halfway eaten away, like missing, like a good fifth of the entire frame was gone. And uh, we had some other problems with it, some engine problems, some problems with the sensor that was loose. Some mechanics told us that the timing chain was done and we need to replace that. Others told us some other bullshit or that the fan is rattling from the uh, radiator. But it was just a sensor. And uh, yeah, so the mechanic we gave the car to, some police officer recommended us that mechanic. He 
we met him. He said, yeah, he's going to do it for free and because he wants to help. He's a volunteer too. He evacuated from Bakhmut or what. And uh, yeah, so it looks like he took the car to use it whilst he was supposed to fix it. And he went on an evacuation from it, with it, from Avdivka, and the frame cracked completely, and the entire rear of the car just crashed down. After that, some other problems came up with the engine. Some oil spilled, and at some point, uh, the, we tried to get the car to us back, because I was fed up with the mechanic. And the engine went into emergency mode, and at some point I didn't even start anymore. And I was in the other car. We were like, wanted to drive it uh, in a convoy. And uh, yeah, that all didn't go well. So now we have a Pajero with a fucked frame which has been welded but really badly and you cannot trust that shit and uh, with engine problems engine doesn't start the batteries have been stolen whilst the mechanic had it some tools that I had have been stolen whilst the mechanic had the car and yeah the car's complete it's it's bad but you can't blame us for uh, going with this mechanic because uh, the police recommended us, like a police officer recommended us, this guy, and said that he is fixing like the cars of most policemen here. So that sounds pretty damn good, doesn't it? I think the big problem here is that a car has been bought that should not have been bought. And a lot of money has been wasted, but it gets even worse. So, <clears throat> the mechanic, not the guy who fucked the car up, but the guy who was, who fundraised for the car, for us, argued with uh, us, with me and another uh, colleague. Things took a really bad turn. So, <clears throat> he said, yeah, if you get the car fixed, till then and then, uh, I'm not taking the car back, because someone else before said that he's going to take the car back, and uh, because we wouldn't appreciate it and this and that. The thing is that the car ha had so many problems, some of them we didn't even knew about, uh, one of the reasons uh, caused me to get stuck on a guard rocket. <clears throat> not the reason I drove on the guard rocket, but why I could not get off it without the tank. And Bulletta, there's an Instagram post if you want to see it. But uh, so many problems that there was like no way you could fix it in that little time. Like he gave us one or two weeks or something. There's like no way you could do that. <clears throat> so the mechanic told us oh yeah the car is going to be done like tomorrow and this and that so I thought the guy who wants, wanted to take the car back maybe yeah the car is going to be done this then and everything will be fine and then the car actually got way worse till it broke completely the guy who fundraised a car for me and my team publicly on GoFundMe, which is, is for us, he now wants to take the car back. And uh, use it uh, for himself. Because in the meantime, he joins the International Legion. Yeah, a car that was supposed to be used for search and rescue. So... Uh, yeah, thanks for nothing. So I spent like uh, it's 
spent like 1300 something euros on the off-road tires because it's such a expensive uh, tire size so uh, now we are going to take these tires off uh, this guy is going to come with tires we bring it to a, a tire shop we're going to take my tires off and <clears throat> put uh, cheaper tires on and then I will sell these tires the problem is the mechanic used this car and now the tires are fucked they're not completely fucked but the, they don't look good I'm gonna put the picture in here if I find it and uh, yeah I'm not gonna get back what I uh, spent on it which is really unfortunate I really hated to waste uh, donation money because I understand that many of you actually uh, work really hard for it so I'm really sorry about that but that's because of an array of really bad incidents coincidences and stupidity involved <clears throat> but uh, this car here is doing really good and I'm really happy about it and big thanks to everyone who donated for it and uh, who made it possible huge thanks so uh, yeah the Pajero is gonna be gone uh, I cannot recommend this guy who wants to take it back to actually use it, but not my problem if he ends up in an accident because the car broke or the fucking frame breaks on the way or whatever. It's not my problem really. I told him it's unsafe to use, but he doesn't want to listen, so it's his problem. And everyone's problem was in the car as well. He should probably just throw a grenade in the car, but whatever. <clears throat> to make sure that nobody uses it, uses it, uses it because it's really unsafe. Like, it's stupid to use this car. So yeah, I'm currently trying to get uh, compensation from the mechanic who fucked this all up, and maybe we will get the police involved. And it's more worries than I need here. Like, I have enough worries already, so it's I don't need these extra worries. Yeah, was eating some random ass shit on the ground. Yeah, was. Oh. Gonna throw up if you eat that. So yeah, thanks everyone for your support. Please keep it coming and uh, yeah, please share my content. It helps a lot. And stay tuned.